When I saw her, I looked at her and I said, oh my God, you look amazing. She said, we don't use the F word in school. <laughs> okay, Sorry. Mrs. Dooley. Oh, she looks so oh, good. Johnny. Oh, oh, oh. So the Kathy Dooley episode was, first of all, special just because we all got to see where our baby Johnny grew up. That's the YMCA. That was Baldwin Middle School. That's where I went to fourth through sixth grade. Hold on, I can't stop. There's nerves happening. You're a little nervous. I am a little nervous. It's coming! Oh! I think the most memorable part of Kathy Dooley's episode was seeing Jonathan when he entered his gym and he just ran straight to the cheerleaders. Can you all just give a huge round of applause for your very own Jonathan Van Ness? <laughs> The smile on his face, I mean, this boy can smile from ear to ear, but I think he even went 25% wider. It was probably one of the sweetest, purest things I've ever seen in my life. I've known Kathy Dooley since I was literally six years old. I would remember you'd be late for orchestra, or you forgot your violin, and you're oh God, waiting for so your mean. mother to come in, <laughs> and whatever. But usually when you were running in, it's because you were always helping some girl. She's mercilessly stared down the barrel of an administrations, always trying to take money from the arts, and Kathy Dooley has always been there with her little red mullet to say, no, this is my money. The state of Illinois has been in various levels of financial disarray, mm -hmm. and the arts are always one of the programs that are, you know, they really have to fight for right. their existence. It's one of the first to go. I'm your substitute for today. Yeah! You can call me KB. None of that Mr. stuff. I'm KB, all right? Today we're going to learn about culture. What I really loved about speaking with the students was the transparency, the honesty, the courage, the drive to want to change the world and help other people was so apparent in talking to these kids that I just left there even more aspired than I felt walking in. And so that's a clear indication of the teacher that Miss Dooley is, that she could truly affect these kids and make them believe and understand that they are greater than their circumstances. Kathy's interest in the kitchen is non-existent at best. This woman did not give a beep about food. And I'm always convinced every time, I'm like, I will get you excited about food. You know what, she has more important shit to deal with. She's got other priorities. I really hope that she uses the massage chairs in her new lounge. It's probably like the best thing I've ever seen, ever. Okay. I'm just gonna need you to stop here for me. This looks way more age appropriate. It's sophisticated, it's sharp. Absolutely, very classy. Sophisticated is a great word for it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful texture and material is just really gorgeous. What would you think your husband would say? Um, hopefully he would say, wow. <laughs> when I met Kathy Dooley and we went shopping, Kathy said that her husband hadn't said that she looks beautiful since their wedding day, 25 years. He has not said to her, Kathy, you look beautiful. You look incredible. When I reveal Kathy to the boys and to her husband, what you don't see on camera because it was, it was after the camera stood down, Kathy's husband says to Kathy, you look more beautiful than I have ever seen you look. And we lose it because we know how important it is to Kathy to hear from her husband just once that she looks beautiful. You look absolutely stunningly beautiful here. Yes, yes, oh my gosh. It got me harder than anything's ever gotten me. I also want to celebrate the fact that I'm going to be cutting your hair. She's literally had that haircut since 1987, since before I was born. She was so busy defending our school district's music and arts funding that she forgot to get a new haircut for 32 years, okay? I sort of curl the top and then I curl the ends at the bottom. And when you're working that hard, someone has to step in. And I said, you know what? We're only a three hour drive away from over there. 
Let's go. Let's blow this popsicle stand and let's go cut this mullet off because this mullet has G to G. Do you have any like last words? Like, do you have any like words of love or like excitement I'm for like, yourself? Or my like, my hair has done me, done me well for a long time. And oh my God, I can't even love you. <laughs> this is a lot. And uh, I'm just really grateful that you trust me and that we're doing this together. And really, I just love you and it's gonna be fine. Are we ready? We're ready. Bye, queen. You were so cute. There we go. Hardest part's over, Kathy. Now we're just gonna have fun. Oh my gosh. And let me tell you something, status update, it's looking better than ever. We've done two haircuts since then. At Christmas time, I said, Kathy, we're gonna do a little touch up. The day that I played Radio City Music Hall, do you know what I was doing at 11 o'clock that afternoon? I was cutting Kathy Dooley's hair in my kitchen because we, I cannot let that mullet come back. I will not. I will not. All of this was step one of her saying, I'm gonna start taking care of myself. But now step two is remembering that she has to actually take time and go somewhere. You gotta actually do it. She has to do it. That would be awesome. Oh, 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 oh,